Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with your college football top 25 video for week 13, the final week of the regular season in college football. I'm going to look at four big top 25 matchups for you and let you know how to play these games and make some money on both Friday night and all of day Saturday here on this video right here on Wager Talk TV. A hey, quick reminder, I read all the comments and I reply back. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on which games you like best this week. Week 13, the final full week of the college football season. we got the conference championship games on deck next week. And be sure to check back next week. We'll have some top 25 matchups, to say the least. We have two true top 25 matchups this week. One on Friday night, one on Saturday afternoon. But I'm also going to dig a little bit deeper for you. A couple other games that were just a bit outside for making the cut. So four games analyzed for you on this video. Just a quick reminder. This is the week to get all sports. Not only do we have college and pro football on a daily basis, but we have college and pro basketball in full swing also. And I've been crushing it in all sports. Right now, get seven days for an instant 30% discount with the Thanksgiving special. $69 gets you seven days and nights of both college and pro football and my college and pro basketball best bets. No promo code needed. Check out that special offer right now. Cash in big. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. All right, let's look at the first top 25 matchup. It goes Friday night, last game on the board Friday night at 8.30 Eastern on Fox National TV. And that is number six, Oregon hosting number 16, Oregon State. And as we do this video uh, on Thursday here, right now Oregon's about 13 and a half point favorite. I'm actually doing this late Wednesday into Thursday before Thanksgiving hits here. I want to get this up for you over the holiday. And right now, as I check the Wager Talk live odds screen, we're seeing the Oregon Ducks pretty much a 13 and a half point favorite. I'm starting to see a couple 14s starting to show. And obviously, 14 is a very key number. Uh, so I would play Oregon sooner than later at minus 13 and a half. If you like the Beavers, I would wait. You might get some plus 14s by kickoff on Friday night. Uh, my database simulation, 10,000 games simulated, has Oregon winning by over 18 points on average. So I do like the Oregon Ducks in this game at minus 13 and a half. Some nice line value there. And it's also a focus spot for Oregon. They have to continue to win. Because if they win this game, they get to the Pac-12 championship next week. They'll clinch the number two seed against number one seed Washington next Friday night in Vegas. And it'll be a huge rematch because obviously the only loss so far this season for Oregon was back in October when they lost as a three-point dog on the road at Washington. But outgained the Huskies by over 100 yards, had over 540 offensive yards in that game. This is a really good one-loss team. And they're sitting sixth currently behind the five undefeated team so we need someone to lose and obviously Michigan or Ohio State will have a loss after this weekend so I do think Oregon still controls their own destiny if they win out and they do deserve to be a top four team when all is said and done Oregon State tough spot for the Beavers you know Washington is a bit of a phony team I mentioned how Oregon outplayed them earlier this year in my opinion in fact if you look at a college football luck index metric or uh, Washington is number one of all 133 teams the luckiest team by the way guess who it was last year TCU, Texas Christian, was number one last year. Now they're 132nd this season. Uh, by the way, my colleague Brian Power and I talked about that a bit earlier this week on the College Football Show on Tuesday. Check out those replays here on Wager Talk TV. And I bring that up because I thought last week Washington was going to lose at Oregon State. We talked about the game here on the video. I mentioned that I projected Oregon State by a few points, and I thought they deserved to be the home favorite. Well, they fell a couple points short, lost 22-20 to in a close game. You do have to wonder now if that leaves them a bit hungover and banged up for this tough road game here on Friday night. And I do think the Ducks have a substantial offensive edge. They're about a yard per play better running, throwing, and overall yard per play on the season. And I think that will be the difference in this game. And once again, I mentioned how Oregon put up over 540 yards at Washington on the road earlier this year. Well, at home last week, Oregon State only managed about 350 total yards against the same opponent. Uh, Oregon is a really good football team, and they have plenty of incentive to continue to win by margin whenever possible, and they have some front door cover potential as well with that strong passing offense that averages nearly 10 yards per pass attempt. If you're going to play it, I recommend you lay it with the Oregon Ducks minus 13 and a half on Friday night. That kicks off once again, Fox 830 Eastern. All right, three other games I want to get to are all in the Saturday card. Let's talk about the biggest game so far this season, and that goes at noon Eastern Saturday on Fox it was the most watched college football game of the season last year. Can't imagine it won't be again this year. It's a huge matchup between two undefeated top three ranked rivals. And that, of course, is number two, Ohio State at number three, Michigan. Yet Michigan is the favorite in this game by three and a half points. Let's jump right into it. My database simulation, 10,000 games simulated. 
has Michigan winning by over seven and a half points on average. So yes, there is some line value here at Michigan. Another reason there's line value is that a week ago, the look ahead, bettable look ahead lines, DraftKings, FanDuel, other major sports books was five and a half to minus six. Once again, last week, there was a bettable line on Michigan minus five and a half to minus six. And then they barely get by Maryland, whereas Ohio State rolls Minnesota as expected. And now a week later, the line is a field goal shorter. So that's another reason why we're getting some value. And by the way, ding, 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 Ohio State's looking a little bit like a public dog. I don't do a lot with consensus in the college sports. I do a ton, obviously, in the NFL. Check out that video, by the way, this Saturday here on Wager Talk TV, my NFL fade the public video. But as I've often talked about in these top 25 videos, public plays favorites, but sometimes they start looking at dogs when good teams are an underdog, especially top 25 teams. And that appears to be the case. Uh, some public indicators I look at, Ohio State does appear to be a public dog this week. And that also is one of the reasons why this line is too short. So several things pointing towards Michigan as far as line value. Let's dig a little bit deeper here. The matchup, uh, first of all, both teams are excellent defensively. Each give up only about nine, nine and a half points a game on the season. Uh, both teams are good offensively as well. However, Michigan is better. Uh, they have a better yards per play. Uh, actually, yards per play is not better. But when you factor in yards per rush and yards per pass in a slightly tougher schedule, I do think they rank as the better offense overall. The big difference I feel in this game is going to be the run offense for Michigan. Both teams' toughest game, toughest opponent this year has been Penn State. They both beat them. However, I felt like Michigan was more impressive in the win for a couple reasons. First of all, Ohio State was at home, and they only managed 83 rushing yards against Penn State. A couple weeks ago, Michigan was on the road, much tougher environment, and they had 227 rushing yards against that same Penn State Rush D that was given up only two yards a carry and only 50 yards a game heading in. They only had to throw the ball eight times. It was like watching a triple option military academy, the Michigan Wolverines. Uh, also, Harbaugh, one and five against Ohio State when he first took over at Michigan back in 2015. They didn't play in the COVID season, but since they're the last two years, Michigan has won both games finally, and they've done so outright as a six and a half and nine point dog, and there's been nothing misleading about it. Uh, Michigan's put up 487 and 530 yards total offense, and they've rushed for 297. In fact, they outrushed Ohio State 297 to 64 a couple years ago in that first win, and then last year uh, outrushed them 252 to 143. I think the running dominance is going to be the difference, and we get line value on top of that. Michigan is where the value is in the big game on Saturday afternoon, 12 noon Eastern on Fox. All right, those are the two official head-to-head -to -head top 25 matchups. Heck, top 20, top 20 matchups, to be honest. No other head-to-head -to -head top 25 matchups, but there are two other games that just missed the cut. I'm going to give you those two bonus games in a moment. Quick reminder, though, seven days for just $69. It's a fantastic offer. It's an instant 30% discount off the normal rate this week only. It's a happy Thanksgiving special to all of you. No promo code needed. Check it out on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. You're going to get my number one ranked NBA. I'm up over 100 units this calendar year in 2023. Also number one the last two years in college and pro football sides combined. Also number one in the NFL sides the last three months. And number one in college hoops a couple years ago. I got number one rankings cover all the major sports. And we've been hitting on all cylinders. Now is the time to try it out. If you've been waiting on the sidelines, this is a great week to be a sports better because there's tons of advantages out there. A lot of opportunity to make money. And you can sit back and watch these games and enjoy it while you do so. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, tons of college and pro football. College and pro basketball every day, Monday through Sunday, seven days and nights, whenever you want to start. But you got to do it this week because that price goes back to the normal $99 after Sunday. Once again, get on board right now and get the next seven days and nights for just $69. No promo code needed. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. All right, let's look at two bonus games for you here on the way out. These are teams that are in the top 25 playoff rankings against other opponents that just missed the cut. Um, let's start with the game that was really close to making it, uh, and this is at 8 o'clock Eastern Saturday night. Number 22, NC State. That's right, number 22, NC State. They are ranked now in the college football playoff rankings, despite not being ranked in the AP poll. They're actually 27th if you look at the additional votes. And North Carolina just fell out of the top 25 for the first time all season. They're actually as low as 30th now in the AP, but still a game that just missed the cut. North Carolina bumps out, NC State bumps in. And I actually favor NC State in this game for a few reasons. First of all, uh, my database simulation, 10,000 games simulated, has NC State winning by two and a half on average. As we check the Wager Talk live odds screen here, uh, we see North Carolina Tar Heels are currently a two and a half point favorite. So the wrong North Carolina team, in my opinion, is favored in this game by two and a half. I run other simulations that also have NC State winning outright. 
and I do some yardage simulations that project North Carolina State with the yardage advantage as well. Both teams are 8-3 and three straight up, but they're both headed in opposite directions. North Carolina State has won four in a row straight up and against the spread, including impressive underdog wins at home against Clemson and Miami of Florida during that span. Meanwhile, North Carolina has lost three of their last five straight up, and they've gone just 1-4 and four ATS. They've become a very overvalued team. After being ranked number 10 in the country, they had that terrible loss as a 24-point favorite to Virginia. Uh, one and four ATS their last five, and it all started with that bad uh, UVA loss. A lot were calling it the worst loss in 100 years of North Carolina football. Hard to disagree. They had a lot on the line. And this is not a good defensive team, and it does appear like they're wearing down. Uh, they gave up over 450 offensive yards to Clemson last week, a mediocre Clemson offense. Uh, North Carolina State has struggled offensively at times, but they should be able to move the ball in this game, and they definitely rate as the better defensive team as a home dog. So I do think there's some value with North Carolina State at 8 o'clock Eastern on the ACC Network. And one other game on the way out I want to touch on that missed the cut is uh, Texas A&M LSU. LSU ranked number 14 in the playoff ranking, so obviously they're a top 20 team. A very disappointing season, though, for Texas A&M. This is a team that had national title hopes last year, vastly underperformed. They were a play-on team for me. You know, mentioned back in September, I said Oklahoma and A&M were play-on teams as big favorites because they had disappointing seasons. Where Oklahoma and A&M were fantastic in September, and we used them several times as best bets when they were a big boy against the little boys. Uh, but they have struggled stepping up in class here in recent weeks. Uh, just 3-3 three and three straight up, 1-4-1 one, and one against the spread their last six. Uh, they blow out Mississippi State 51-10, and Jimbo Fisher still gets fired afterwards a couple weeks ago. And then last week, they didn't even score the spread against Abilene Christian. 40-point favorite only put up 38 points, but they should have some offense this week against a bad LSU defense. But LSU is great offensively, the number one offense in the country, scoring just under 47 points a game. They average 11 yards per pass attempt. Every time they drop back to throw the ball, it's a first down on average. Uh, but Texas A&M, number eight overall in yardage allowed. They're actually a top 10 defense. So this is a classic example of great offense against great defense. We'll see what wins out. You know, normally we saw with the defenses in those type of matchups. Um, but let's check what the database has here. 10,000 game simulation. My database has LSU winning by 12 and a half on average. So that's right around the current point spread, which is 11. Uh, total, by the way, 66 and a half, 66, 66 and a half. Got to point that out because LSU has gone over in every game this season, except for last week. They finally had an under by just a couple points. Uh, open 71, closed 74 against Georgia State, and it landed on 70. And that's just because Georgia State only scored 14. LSU did go over their own team total of 52.5 with 56 points. Uh, so interesting matchup here. Great defense against a great offense. Uh, once again, my projection is LSU by 12.5, uh, which is right around the current point spread. But wanted to point that out, because AM is a team that was ranked for a while this season. Uh, no longer are. By the way, in the top 35 AP, I'm um, sorry, they're 35th right now in additional votes overall uh, in the AP against number 14 LSU. Hey, look, those are four big pro high profile games for you this week. I gave you the two true top 25 matchups and then a little Thanksgiving bonus, two extra games I threw in. They were just a bit outside. Be sure to check back next week. I will have a top 25 video game for the conference championship games and be sure to catch my NFL fade the public video when it goes live this weekend, normally on Saturdays here on Wager Talk TV. Hit the bell when you subscribe for instant alerts. Don't forget, comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. Let me know your thoughts, not only of these games where you agree or disagree with the top 25 simulations, but also other games, some under-the-radar games, perhaps, where you see value here in Week 13 of college football. And don't forget, thumbs up, like, as well. It goes a long way to keeping all this great content free here on Wager Talk TV. And one final reminder, this week and this week only, get an instant 30% discount on, in, on a seven-day all-sports all-access. You don't have to choose what sports you want because you get every sport. You get every college football, pro football. By the way, NFL, perfect 4-0 sweep last Sunday. Don't miss it this Sunday. It's a strong card once again. But you also get my college and pro basketball on a daily basis. Four major sports going every day and night for the next seven days and nights for less than $10 a day with the $69 seven-day special, which is good this week only. Go get it right now. No promo code needed. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And get to my page quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Don't forget, I post daily free plays on my page as well. Also, post them on Instagram. Follow me on IG and follow Wager Talk as well. And also, follow me on Twitter for free plays and videos at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter. Stay tuned to Wager Talk TV right here for more great content coming up next. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the games this weekend. And I'll talk to you again soon right here on Wager Talk TV.